I'm not sure if you can tell, but my Christmas tree has a problem. But for a maker, a problem isn't so much a problem as it is an opportunity. Specifically, it's an opportunity to justify to your wife the thousands upon thousands of dollars you've spent on maker equipment. I love you, honey! Yeah, she's not amused. <laughs> Let's hurry and fix the tree. I'm sure you guys could tell that my tree was leaning. That's obviously what the problem is, but what's causing the problem? Well, it's a classic scenario. Round hole and round peg. <laughs> you probably thought I was gonna say square peg or something. Anyway, they're quite different in size. Now, whoever designed this base put in these three screws. The idea it's going to be, it's going to pinch it from three different ways. It should be awfully stable and secure. The problem is there's nothing in the bottom to do the same, or even to center the tree into the bottom. And that means that the tree can get in there and the bottom can tilt and twist like that. It's almost to the point where the tree just wants to tip over on its own. And we are gonna use 3D printing to fix that by designing a custom insert to go in here and hold the bottom of the tree. I say custom, but don't jump away. You're probably expecting me to dive into CAD and use my amazing modeling skills to do something that will boggle the mind. No, 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 no. We're gonna do it simple. And it's gonna be so simple that even you could fix this exact problem at home without even opening anything but your slicing software. Let's get right into it. Here we are in my slicing program. I'll be using Bamboo Slicer, but you should be able to do this with uh, Prussia Slicer, Orca Slicer, or some of the other variants out there. They'll all function roughly the same. Now, what you need to do is right mouse and we're... Hello there, this is Future Video Editing Ian, realizing that the screen capture software I had set up wasn't capturing my mouse or my right mouse menu. And so you might not have be, been aware of certain actions I was taking. So let me just show a few things here real quick and then we'll get back into the video. You right mouse and add a primitive cylinder. Then with the cylinder selected, we right mouse again and we add a negative part, specifically a cylinder. We're going to switch to per object settings in the mode and then we're gonna right mouse here and we're gonna center that. We're gonna come over to the sidebar, select our cylinder, right mouse, center the cylinder. Uh, those are the actions that I've taken that weren't properly captured. So hopefully you'll be able to follow along with the rest of this tutorial. If not, just let me know down in the comment. What you need to do is right mouse and we're gonna add a primitive cylinder. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to scale it. Make sure uniform scaling is off. Now, we need a dimension for this. Specifically, we need the inside dimension of our uh, hole. Now, I measured this to be 50 millimeters, but I noticed some ribs deeper inside it that I couldn't really put my caliper on. So we're going to make this a bit smaller and say 45 millimeters. This is going to be an awfully small part, so uh, if we need to adjust it and print it one more time, not a big deal. So 45 and 45, and we don't really need it to be a full inch tall. Actually, that's a little more than an inch. I think, you know, half an inch, 12 millimeters, that's going to be good enough. Now, we're going to select this part and right mouse again, and we're going to add a negative cylinder. Thank you. Now, once again, we're going to come back to scale. Height doesn't really matter so long as it's larger in or taller in height than the first cylinder you made. This one, we're going to make slightly bigger than the outside diameter of our peg. Now, I measured that to be 22 millimeters, so we'll just go ahead and make this one 24 by 24. Perfect. Now, we can select each of these individually over in our sidebar here. And this one's already at 0, 0. Perfect. Now we'll select the other one. We're going to set this one at 0, 0. Uh-oh. Hold on. 0. There we go. Now it is centered in there. And if we slice it, boom. Isn't that easy? Let's get this thing over the printer.
And with that simple fix, the tree is now standing tall and straight. And thus, Christmas was saved. Hopefully, my wife will now understand just how much money my maker hobby saves us. I mean, look at it. We would have had to throw away this entire tree and get another one. Now, nah, fixed. What, like 25 cents or something? Easy peasy? Yeah. She'll definitely understand. I bet she'll even be happy that I just bought the new Bamboo Lab A1 multicolor combo. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let this video be my way of telling her I did that. Have a nice day, everybody. If you have any questions, just put them down in the comments. I'll get to them as quickly as I can. I usually respond pretty quickly and generally to almost everything. So uh, have a nice day.